Okay, I am going to show you how to make scotch tape in Photoshop. Okay, so I've got this grungy kind of looking cracked wall here. Um, and I have my squirrel. So I'm going to take my squirrel and drop my squirrel on there. Control T and just kind of give them a little twist, kind of like that. Hit enter. Okay, now I'm going to put some scotch tape on here to make it look like it's being held by it. And so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to draw a box kind of about like that about how big I think I want my scotch tape to be okay then I'm gonna go up to layer new layer fill solid color okay and I'm gonna pick a gray um, any kind of gray you can play around with this it'll have you know like different transparencies but um, anywhere somewhere right around in there like that and uh, click OK and then I'm gonna take this grab my selection tool put it on here Control T and I'm going to spin it around like that kind of put it there you can change its size do whatever when I get it just about right I'll go ahead and hit enter okay and now what I'm going to do is to grab my eraser tool right here click that and up here I'm gonna make sure that I have pencil selected and then when I click on this it's gonna say you mu it must be rasterized and that's fine click OK then what I'm gonna do is take just take make some little jagged edges on this here to make it look like it was ripped off of a spool or whatever okay and then the last step here is to come over to the layers palette and select hard light and there you go there is your scotch tape now if you wanted to make another one you could go here like this and layer new layer fill now one thing you want to do on this you want to make sure that you pick the same color every time uh, let me show you what a different color might kinda of look like and then we'll take this and move it over here control T and we'll spin it around kinda of like that hit enter I'm just doing a quick job here just to kinda of give you an idea and then make some jagged edges on that and then go over here to layers and hard light and there we go now you'll notice on this one here my color was a little different so depending on how you want it to look there you go and then you can make a few a couple more of those put them here I don't like to take these and duplicate them and then spin around because people looking closely they can tell that you duplicated it so um, that actually looks like scotch tape so there you go scotch tape in Photoshop